Courthouse, they want a teenager released from jail. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. That teenager is 19 year old Peyton Pruitt. Now, earlier this month, a judge found him not guilty by reason of mental defect of soliciting support for a terrorist act. Now, CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff is live at the courthouse in Pell City. And, Jamie, if Pruitt was found not guilty, I guess what I'm trying to understand is why is he still in jail? Well, Jim, that stipulation there is not guilty by reason of mental defect. That is the operative phrase we're looking at here, and that is why Peyton Pruitt is still in jail pending the outcome of a court ordered mental evaluation. The judge said that's going to help him determine whether to commit Peyton or send him home. Now, I'm standing in the middle of a crowd of people, and there's a speaker right now. That's the family attorney. They all agree that is not right. Peyton's father, Tony Pruitt, told us last week that his 19 year old son had the mind of an eight year old. We have video there. He even showed us this already completed evaluation to back up that assertion. I've been talking to people here today as well, and many of them had never met the Pruitt family until this afternoon. But they tell me they stand by this family and they want their message to be heard loud and clear. I just couldn't help to think what if this was my child? You know, would people stand with me? Would they help me? You know, Peyton has the mentality of an eight year old child. He's not a regular 19 year old person. You know, he's, he had no idea. Now that woman you heard from there is circulating a petition to help free Peyton Pruitt. She says she's gotten over a thousand signatures already now. Right now, uh, uh, Tony Pruitt, Peyton Pruitt's father, is addressing the crowd. We're going to hear more from him, and there are several other speakers expected to talk here at this protest. We'll check back.